Drippy the raindrop was having fun. He was busy doing his favorite thing, floating on the ocean. Looking up, he smiled at his friend, Mr. Sun, who had just come up. As the day wore on, Mr. Sun rose higher and higher in the sky. Drippy became hot, very hot. I'm hot, said Drippy. Suddenly, Drippy noticed a cloud moving across the sky. Drippy said to himself, That cloud sure looks nice, and it is so hot down here. I wish I could fly up to it and cool off. And just as soon as he thought those words, he was flying. Up, up, up in the sky to his cloud. Drippy was evaporating. Soon Drippy landed on his cloud. While coming down, he was spotted by another raindrop. This raindrop had a telescope. Ahoy there, said the other raindrop. Drippy was condensing. So you shipped in for a cruise, eh, said the other raindrop. Folks call me Captain Salty. What's your name, lad? I'm Drippy, and I came here to cool off, said Drippy. So where do you come from, lad? asked Captain Salty. Drippy leaned over the edge of the cloud and pointed to the water below. I was floating on the ocean there, he said. Where is this cloud headed, asked Drippy. She's sailing there, said Captain Salty, pointing to a range of mountains in the distance. Looks like a storm's a-brewin'. If things get rough, be ready to abandon ship, said Captain Salty. Yes, sir, said Drippy. Besides, it would be fun to visit the mountains below. No sooner had Captain Salty warned Drippy than things got rough. The cloud began to bounce. Drippy got ready to jump and turned and waved goodbye to the captain. Jumping from his cloud, Drippy fell with the rain towards the ground. Goodbye, lad. Happy journey to you, shouted Captain Salty as he went. Drippy was precipitating. Drippy looked down as he fell. He saw a stream winding through the forest in the mountains below. That would be a nice soft place to land, thought Drippy. But Drippy just missed the stream and landed on a tree next to it. Bouncing from branch to branch, he dripped all the way to the ground. Whoopee! shouted Drippy. Sliding down a rock, Drippy gently fell into the stream he had seen from above. Hoorah, said Drippy. This should be a fun ride. The rain stopped. Ah, said Drippy as he floated along, breathing in the fresh mountain air and the smell of the pine trees. This is the life, he sighed. Drippy found a leaf floating by him and climbed onto it. Then Drippy's stream started to move faster and got wider. It had become a river. How exciting, thought Drippy.